The XRP Ledger, or XRPL blockchain, is being tested by Ripple as a mechanism for developers to quickly and easy execute smart contracts created for the larger and more well-known Ethereum. Hey guys, welcome back to Crypto Millionaires, a channel where we give you the daily updates about XRP. In today's video, you will learn about the XRP Ledger sidechain that's compatible with Ethereum smart contracts. Watch this video till the end to see what we have for you. So, without any further delay, let's start our video. Additionally, Ripple is set to release an EVM, a device that will upend the cryptocurrency market and make XRP extremely competitive. The Ethereum Virtual Machine, or EVM sidechain for XRPL, was confirmed to be on DevNet by Mayuka Vidari, a Ripple XRP engineer. To better enable flexible and seamless transactions between crypto exchanges, numerous platforms have taken deliberate and active attempts to connect sidechains. Experts claim that the action enhances the platform's ability to scale and emits a permission-free aura. Ripple has taken action to include Ethereum smart contracts into the XRP ledger in light of all of this. In September 2021, this development was unveiled, and now that it has gone live on the DevNet, it may be tested and developed upon further. The sidechain will strengthen Ripple's compatibility with Ethereum, which will undoubtedly boast the popularity of the Ripple token. The program that powers smart contracts on Ethereum is called the Ethereum Virtual Machine, or EVM. On the company's development network, where developers can test implementation before they go live on the main network, Ripple announced that an EVM-compatible sidechain, a blockchain that operates concurrently with the main XRPL blockchain, is now operational. Without the assistance of a middleman business or entity, smart contracts are technology that can autonomously carry out transactions when specific circumstances are met. Despite the fact that the idea isn't specific to any one platform or network, smart contracts are frequently connected with Ethereum, a blockchain that was created to support them. In our digital lives, intermediaries are everywhere, whether it is visible or not. Even the simplest online sharing of a cat picture with pals needs the assistance of a middleman like Facebook or Twitter, a centralized authority that not only controls the network, but also establishes the rules and penalizes those who break them. These digital processes can be automated thanks to smart contracts, which eliminate the need for a centralized organization to oversee and approve the transaction. Blockchains, a network of computers that cooperate to enforce rules on the network without the assistance of a middleman, are what enable smart contracts. Aiming to facilitate the development of smart contracts, Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency on the globe by market capitalization, was founded in 2013. It is currently the most widely used platform for doing so. Outside of Ethereum, smart contracts aren't frequently used, and some people doubt that they'll ever become a commonly used method of transaction management. However, supporters of Ethereum think that they might someday take over as the standard method for establishing and protecting online relationships. Existing smart contract using apps number in the hundreds. MakerDAO and Compound, two well-known Ethereum applications, leverage smart contracts as the foundation of their lending and interest-earning features. A sidechain is a distinct blockchain network that is linked to the main net or parent blockchain by a two-way peg. With their own consensus methods, these auxiliary blockchains enable a blockchain network to increase privacy and security, while lowering the amount of additional trust needed to sustain a network. The ability of sidechains to enable a more seamless asset exchange between the main net and the secondary blockchain is one of their fundamental features. This enables projects to expand their ecosystem in a decentralized manner by safely transferring digital assets like tokens between blockchains. After the start of the test phase of Ripple's new ledger sidechain, users may eventually be able to interact with decentralized apps or dApps compatible with Ethereum. Pierce Technologies, a blockchain development company, announced the sidechain's introduction on October 17th in a tweet and noted that it is compatible with the Ethereum Virtual Machine or EVM. The news was first announced by Pierce Technologies, who will also introduce a cross-chain bridge between the XRPL DevNet and the EVM sidechain. These two modules will aid in testing the transfer of XRP between the main XRP ledger and the sidechains. As a result, users of the XRPL DevNet will be able to access decentralized applications created in Solidity, the programming language used by Ethereum. Essentially, a dedicate is a clone of the primary blockchain where programmers may test their apps with no risk. The self-custodial crypto wallet, XUMM, and the MetaMask wallet can both be connected to the EVM sidechain by developers who want to test the new sidechain. Later, programmers can verify the sidechain's ability to exchange XRP from the devotee. Ripple wants to do more than just enable smart contracts with an Ethereum foundation. 
In January, it debuted the XLS20, its own NFT protocol for the XRPL, on its DevNet, enabling developers to launch NFTs directly into the XRPL mainnet. On September 13th, the XRPL mainnet was given the go-ahead to launch the XLS20 technology, although it has not yet gone live. A Ripple representative told Decrypt, We are optimistic for the eventual adoption of the XLS20 and are thankful that the community is so dedicated to a secure and trustworthy rollout. Security is fundamental, especially in a time where industry-wide exploits have become a regular occurrence. As a result, Ripple users may soon have access to Web3 wallets like MetaMask and XUMM wallets, as well as dApps like Uniswap, should it migrate over. In order to transfer XRP and other assets between the sidechain supported by the EVM and the XRP Ledger DevNet, the new sidechain also has a cross-chain bridge built right into it. The release means developers no longer have to choose between XRPL or EVM-compatible blockchains, said Mayuka Vadari, a technical engineer with Ripple X. Additionally, he noted developers will be able to use XRPL's quick, low-cost transactions and add Solidity-based smart contracts to the platform. A bridge between the networks has already been built and is in the early stages of individuals wishing to potentially shift assets between XRPL's main ledger and its EVM sidechain. Why not make the main net of XRPL compatible with EVM? Mayuka Vidari, a software engineer with Ripple, warned in a blog post on Monday that such a shift may weaken its efficiency, scalability, and security. Vidari also revealed that the EVM sidechain project's third phase, which would introduce the EVM chain to the XRPL mainnet at an as yet undetermined time, will begin early in 2019. The XRP-based EVM-compatible sidechain was specifically created for the Tendermint protocol, which intends to perform 1,000 transactions per second. This project's implementation will take place in three distinct phases. Vidari pointed out that the XRPL DevNet is now hosting testing for the first stage of the EVM sidechain. The EVM-compatible sidechain will change to a permissionless chain with better scalability in Phase 2. For the second phase, which is anticipated to launch in early 2023, Vidari stated that the goal is to attain a block timing compatible to those of the XRP ledger. The end goal is Phase 3, a permissionless EVM sidechain, and a bridge available on the XRPL mainnet, she continued. The most recent announcement coincides with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission's SEC litigation against Ripple, which has been ongoing for almost two years and may have had an impact on the acceptance and growth of the global settlement network. Since it first launched a CBDC private ledger for banks in March 2021, Ripple has continued to move forward in the central bank digital currency or CBDC field. Most recently in September 2022, it teamed with the Royal Monetary Authority of Bhutan. The work that developers have already put into creating Ethereum smart contracts may be used in the totally different Ripple ecosystem, which might be advantageous for Ripple and XRPL. An ongoing three-part procedure began with the announcement made on Monday. Early in 2023, the second phase will go online, making it possible for anyone to join the EVM sidechain and making it permissionless. The third stage, when Ripple will completely install the software, is planned for the second quarter. The XRPL blockchain and the entire ecosystem will undoubtedly benefit greatly from this breakthrough. David Schwartz, chief technology officer at Ripple, made the initial suggestion about the XRPL sidechain last year. Our goal in 2023 is to have an EVM sidechain connected to the XRPL mainnet. The bridge and the final solution will be decentralized, and all the components of the solution will be production ready to handle real-world scale and use cases," he added. EVM compatibility and a less expensive, quicker blockchain will help XRP perform strongly in the market. So guys, this is it for today's video. I hope it could be a big help to you. What do you think about this Ripple's testing XRP ledger sidechain that's compatible with Ethereum smart contracts? Share your views in the comments down below and get people involved in the discussion. Also, like and share our videos within your circle to make it reach out to everyone. If you are new here, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get our daily videos. And for the notifications of our daily videos, don't forget to click the bell icon and participate in the giveaway. And thanks for watching. We will come up with new videos, so stay tuned with us. And until then, goodbye. Have a nice day.